Hey, seventh grade. So our learning target today is I can interpret circle graphs. So we're going to talk about pie graphs or circle graphs, things that you've done in elementary school. But in today's work, we're going to be dealing a lot with percentages and degrees, a little bit different than elementary school. So basically, a circle graph displays data as sections of a circle. So we're going to take the circle graph, we're going to put it in sections, which is where you've heard the expression pie graph before, because it really looks like pieces of pie in a circle. So the sum of the angle measures in a circle is a little bit different than a triangle. It actually has a 360 degrees. You maybe have heard of somebody doing a 360. 360 means a one full rotation, the equivalent of one full circle. So here's an example of a survey that was done. Favorite fruits, you can see apples 40%, bananas 35%, and the what appears to be maybe an orange is 25%. So it's 100% of the people surveyed answered the question. That's 360 degrees. Each section represents a pie or a section of the circle. So let's talk about how we will do the calculation today. What are the steps for making a circle graph? Well, first we need to find the total number of people surveyed. Very important information. We need that when we do probabilities. We need that when we do, we need that when we do circle graphs. Get the total. So let's go ahead and do that for this first example. 25 plus 15 plus 12 plus 8. So we have Disney World, Busch Gardens, Universal Studios, and Marine Land. So if we add 25 plus 15 plus 12 plus 8. Why don't you go ahead and type that in? 25 plus 15 plus 12 plus 8 and see what you get there. 25 plus 15 plus 12 plus 8. Great. Okay, so we come up with 60 people. 60 total people were surveyed. That's kind of what we would need for our total. That would be the step one. Step two would be find the degree or the angle measure for each section. Most likely you will want to set up as a proportion. So you would say the, the number of people for the section out of 60 is what percent or, or what how many degrees. Degrees is out of 360, the angle measure. We'll talk through how to do that in just a second. Once we have this proportion, you know you take cross products. And then after the cross products, we'll sketch a circle graph and label. We're not going to actually use a measuring tool. We're going, to talk, we're going to work through the skill of estimation in our work today. We're just going to estimate how many degrees. Okay, so those are our four steps above. So how will we make a circle graph down here? Well, we're going to find out the number of degrees for each one of these. So we're going to go ahead and label Disney World will be our first one. Disney World. Well, Disney World is 25 people out of 60. 25 people out of 60. And what we're looking for is how many degrees that would be out of a circle. So how many degrees out of X degrees out of 360 degrees? So Disney World is 25 people out of 60 is X degrees out of 360. Everybody should be taking cross products on this and solving. So to take cross products and solve, we would say grab the variable X, multiply the diagonal, so we have 60 times X, and then multiply the other diagonal, which you've been doing before, 360 times 25. So we have 360 times 25 gives me 9,000. Hand method kicks in. Divide by 60, copy, paste. So divide by 60, copy, paste. We end up with 150 degrees. So Disney World is going to be 150 degrees of the circle. We'll do that when we, we're going to find all the degrees first and then we'll go ahead and calculate. So let's take a look at Bush Gardens. Bush Gardens is the next one. It's 15 people. So we have Bush Gardens. That's 15 people out of 60 people chose in the survey Bush Garden as their favorite amusement park. So we would say that is how many degrees out of 360? How many degrees out of 360? Hand method would kick in here. So we'd go ahead and say cross products into a one step hand method. You've been doing that for a long time. So we would end up saying that the number of degrees when I solve this would be 90 degrees. So Bush Gardens is going to be 90 degrees out of the circle, which will be easy for us because that's just a right angle. All right, guys, so we have two more to do. And many of you probably have been there before, so you've been to some of these before, so you maybe would have your own opinion of what's your favorite. Universal Studios. Universal Studios would be 12 people in Universal Studios out of the 60 people surveyed. So 12 out of 60 is the equivalent of how many degrees out of 360? 12 out of 60 is how many degrees out of 360? Taking cross products and solving, we would get 
So we go 60 times X, hand method kicks in, you should have get 72 degrees. Now, if I'm going too fast, go ahead and slow down. Your answer should be Universal Studios is 72 degrees of our circle. We will sketch this graph in just a second. We're gonna get all of our data points first. So that leaves us with the last one called Marine Land. Marine Land. Marine Land is eight people out of 60 chose Marine Land. So we want to know how many degrees that would be out of 360 out of the full circle. So we're saying X degrees out of 360. So we're going to go ahead and take cross products on that. Grab that X, multiply by 60, multiply the other side, divide. So we have 8 times 360, divide by 60. I get 48 degrees from Marine Land. 48 degrees. Now when I add these up, 150 plus 90 plus 72 plus 48, I should have a total of 360. So let's go ahead and confirm that. 150 plus 90 plus 72 plus 48 does indeed give me that full circle of 360. Now it doesn't always work perfect because of rounding, but as long as we're close to 360, we're okay. So let's go ahead and label this. We're talking about favorite amusement park. There's our survey. Our job is to kind of visualize that this is broken up into um, sector, sectors of 90 degrees, perhaps you could think of it that way. I'm trying to find a lighter pen that we could use. Let me see. Um, let's use this yellow pen. So if we visualize that in this yellow pen, that each one of these represents 90 degrees. I will gradually erase this as we go, but just a visual. We would be able to say then, through estimation, that Bush Gardens, I'm going to start with this one because it's a nice 90 degrees. Bush Gardens would be this nice 90 degree angle. So this right here would be my Bush Gardens. It's 90 degrees, and it was, uh, not, yeah, so it's 90 degrees, Bush Gardens. That's the representation of the Bush Gardens. We got that one. All right, so the next one we're gonna do, I'm going to do is the big one, that 150 degrees. 150 degrees is Disney World. So we know that this here is 90. This is 90. So I'm going to need another 30. I have my 90 and another 30. So 90 plus thir another 30 would approximately be. So we know that we know that this would be 180, but we don't want 180. We want 150. So I'm going to go ahead and just estimate that this is 150 degrees, which we said was Disney World. Through just through estimation, we know it's less than 180. We know that it's more than 90. So I'm going to estimate that that's about 150 degrees. They're not going to be perfect because we're just using estimation, but that's kind of what I'm going to go with. My next angle is going to be 72 degrees, which is less than 90. If I visualize that this here is 90 degrees, I'm going to say that 72 degrees would be like something like this. So here's 72 degrees, and that would be Universal Studios. 72 degrees is Universal Studios. Okay, just using estimation off. I'm going too fast. Go ahead and pause that video, guys. And the last one then would be approximately 48 degrees, which is marine land. Marine land is 48 degrees. So there we go. That's our survey. Now we did that strictly without a uh, measuring tool. We used strictly estimation on sketching those graphs, but we know what 90 degrees looks like. We know what 180 degrees look, look, looks like. So we can kind of estimate off of those. There's our first example. Making a circle graph without any measuring tool. Pretty sweet that we are able to do that through estimation. Okay, so give me I bring you so, I'm going to bring you to the next page. Same idea. So the table shows the dog and cat ownership among teachers in a school. Display the circle graph. Display it in a circle graph. So we have dogs only as our first one. This time it's given in percent. So it's saying 30% of the people surveyed chose dog as the car. They said that dog is the kind of pet that they have. So it's 30 out of 100 people by definition, 30%. We need to know how many degrees we're going to chop this into because degrees are out of 100. So we're going to, or pardon me, degrees are out of 360. So we're going to say, okay, well, how many degrees will this be over in my circle out of 360? So we're going to go ahead and take cross products and solve. Take 30 times 360 divided by 100. When we do that, we find out that it's 108 degrees of the circle will be for the dogs. 108 degrees for the dogs. That's the number. That's the degrees for people that own a dog. Just a dog. Moving on now to just a cat. Looking at the just a cat section. 
cats only is also 30% of the circle. That means 30 out of 100 people surveyed said they have just a cat, only pet that they have at their house. So we'd say again, how many degrees will that be out of 360? Now that's the equivalent of the dog section. So we take cross products and solve. And we better get the same answer of 100 degrees. 100 degrees over there are gonna be the people that say we just own a cat. Okay, so we did the dogs, we did the cats. We're going too fast, go ahead and slow it down. Take cross products and solve. Now let's talk about both. How many people or what what how many degrees for both? We have people that own dogs and cats, which will say both. That's 15%. 15% by definition means 15 out of 100 people have both a dog and a cat. We need to dissect that into degrees, though, or the angle measurements. We know how to uh, make this picture of what's going on. So how many degrees is 15%? We would have to change that to out of 360. Cross product solve. Go ahead and solve. 15 times 360, divide by 100. 15 times 360 divided by 100 gives us 54 degrees for both. 54 degrees for both. All right, guys, moving on here. And the last one that would be neither. So some people are like, that, those aren't the pets I have. I don't have any pets. I have a fish, things like that. So 25% of the population said, yeah, I have, I do not have the animal an animal of a dog or a cat as a pet. I have something different, I don't have anything. So 25 out of 100 people is 25%. We wanna know how many degrees that is. So we're gonna go ahead and take cross products on that. 25 times 360 divide by 100 would be 90 degrees of the circle. People said, neither. I don't have a dog, I don't have a cat. I have either something else or nothing at all. Okay, so we're talking about pets here. The survey on pets. We really only have dogs, cats, both, and neither. So we're not really covering all sorts of pets here. I'm gonna start with the one that works best in my circle graph. If I visualize again, this idea of that each one of these chunks is 90 degrees, I'm gonna do this completely without a measuring tool, all through estimation. I'm gonna start with the easiest one, 90 degrees, the neither section. So for the neither section, I'm gonna go ahead and say, this is a perfect 90 degree section. This is the neither. And we said that that was really 25% of the people said neither. Okay, so that one's done. Nice 90 degrees there. All right, so we're gonna move on. So now I'm gonna do the 108 degrees of dog. 108 degrees. Well, we know this is 90, so I need a little bit more. So 108 would be something maybe like this. There's my 108. So I'm gonna, now I have the beauty of using the smart board to being able to erase, erase this. You won't have that. But that's just a little bit bigger than 90 degrees is what I'm looking for, 108 degrees. And we're gonna say that that's gonna be, I'll say, yeah, but well, I'll say cat since I did it in red. Cats, that's 30% of the circle, 30% said cats. All right, let's go ahead and go talk about the dogs now. For the dogs, the dogs are also 108. So we know that this right here represents 90 degrees, so 108 would be slightly bigger, slightly bigger, so I'm going to go ahead and erase that because I get to use the smart board. Sorry about that, guys. Keep going here now. So that's a little bit bigger than 90. It's 108 degrees, and that's the dogs. That's 30% of the circle said dogs. So just through estimation, then, what's left should be my both, my people that said dogs and cat, cats. So we go ahead and say, well, this must be 54 degrees then. This is both. And we said that that was 15% of the circle. So there we have it. So we have our survey. We have our circle graph created without any measuring tools. We're working off of percents, changing the percents to degrees. All right, guys, moving on. So the last example for today is example three. Hang in there. I know it's been kind of a long video today. We're at 15 minutes already. Example number three. Now, if I'm going too fast, pause that video. A department store had $7,200 in sales. Department stores would be a store that has departments. Like they have the, their apparel department, their men's department, they have their jewelry department. That's a department store. Like Target, for example, would be a department store. All right. So first thing we need to do is we need to look at the circle graph, which shows us that we have a question mark of how many degrees is the shoes. 
keeping in mind that this has to total to 360. So we have shirts are 140, the pants are 80, others 75. So what does this have to be to get to 360? That's really what we're asking. So 140 plus 80 plus 75 plus what is 360? Well, when I add up 140, 80, and 75, I get 295 degrees. So the question is, what does this have to be so that when I add these together, I get 360, 295 plus what? Well, it looks like we're missing 65 degrees. So this, this shoe section is gonna be a 65 degree angle. So what's a little bit different about this problem is we already know the degrees. So we're gonna take the circle graph and we're gonna actually work backwards here. A little bit different. So the shirts department. In the shirts, we know it's 140 degree angles. What we're looking for is how many dollars did they make in the shirt department. Again, taking the circle graph this time and working backwards. So it's 140 degrees. By definition, that's 140 degrees out of 360 degrees. Uh, this time we're looking for how many dollars did they make just on shirts. So we know the total sales was 7,200. So we wanna know how many dollars did they make out of 7,200. How many dollars did the store make out of that? Cross products and solving. Everybody should be solving. Cross products solving there. Go ahead and solve. Cross products solve. Multiply 140 times 7,200. Divide by 360. When you do that, you should come up with 2,800. Go ahead and make sure you're getting $2,800. Okay? $2,800. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, guys. So let's go to the pants section. Here's our pants section. Pants section is 80 degrees out of 360 degrees. 80 degrees out of 360. Again, we're looking for how many dollars did they sell in that section. If they sold a total of $7,200, how many out of $7,200 did they sell? Taking cross products and solving, we're going to multiply 80 times 7,200, divide by 360. Go ahead and multiply that in your calculator. 80 times 7,200, divide by 360 you should end up with $1,600 they sold in their pants department. Okay, all right, let's move on. We have two sections left figuring out how many dollars. The shoes we calculated at 65 degrees. So that's 50, 65 degrees out of 360. Go ahead and write there, 65 degrees out of 360. So we wanna know is how many dollars did they sell in the shoe department out of the 7,200? Cross products and solving. Cross products solving. Go. Everybody's working. Multiply. 65 times 7,200 dividing by 360. Cross products and solving. We end up with $1,300 that they sold in the shoe department. And finally, we have the other department. In the other department. Other department is 75 degrees of the circle. 75 degrees out of 360 degrees. So we're asking is how many dollars did they sell? out of 7,200, taking cross products and solving, 75, multiply by 7,200, divide by 360, how many dollars did they sell? They sold a total of $1,500 in their other department. So there's a total of 7,200 and that's how it breaks apart. That's how it breaks apart there. All right, so it's a little bonus question. Long sleeve shirts were one fourth of the shirt sales. Find the angle measure of the section that would represent long sleeve shirts. The angle measure, we're looking for the angle measure. So long sleeve shirts, they're, they're 140 degrees. So the long sleeve shirts, or the shirt section is 140 degrees. It's asking that long sleeve shirts were one fourth of the shirt sales. So really asking a couple things. There's a couple ways to look at it. You can say what is, so what is one fourth of? 140 degrees, that's one possible option. One fourth of 140 degrees. So I'm just going to go one divide by four times 140 gives us 35 degrees are the long sleeves. So in the shirt department, you have long sleeve shirts, short sleeve shirts, you have tank tops, things like that. So the long sleeves are 35 degrees. That's one way to do it. I know some students might do something like this where they would say, well, one fourth is how many degrees out of 140 degrees, something like that, because that is the shirt department, cross products and solving, you should still get 35 degrees. 
Anywhere you slice it, you need to know how many degrees of long sleeve shirts. Okay, group. So your homework for tonight is to do page three, page four, and that's it. So just page three and four due tomorrow. That's your homework for tonight. Have a fabulous night, seventh grade.